Okay, DJ, I thought this was probably the easiest way to show you what we actually do. But if you see here, we have um, uh, a test patient. Uh, we are not able to set up um, delegate authority under the providers and have us have our own uh, ability to order tests, labs, and have our own schedule template. So the way that we have set it up is as follows. So when you go in, whether it's in your note or in an order group, um, let's say that uh, I want to put in naloxone, for instance, for a patient all under either the uh, A&P portion or under an order group. I'll bring the, the uh, diagnosis over. Uh, I'll put in what I want the patient to have. Okay, and let's say we're going to do Narcan. Okay, and dump it. And then what I do is, is I say, uh, you know, put the prescription in, place one spray and one nostril, uh, ERN opioid overdose, may repeat in two to three minutes, call 911, whatever you want to put in here, the quantity, where it's going. And then basically what you want to do is ensure that you're, you know, whoever you're ordering it under, that you have the standing orders with, is listed as your supervising physician, and then leave it here. Don't do anything, don't sign it, okay? And then what you wanna do is come over to the find, prescription, new, and then here's your new Narcan spray that we just put in, okay? If you will click on that, you are able to change the prescriber from you to your supervising prescriber. So mine here would be Ann Nash, and then the way that this would work is, is that for substances that are not controlled, we can send them directly to the attending physician's nurse that uh, we're working with. So down here under view actions, I would click leave and review and I would put Dr. Nash staff, okay? Because then her nurse should have delegate authority. They can, we can't be providers and have delegate authority within Athena. It just doesn't exist yet. So you leave the, I leave the non-controlled substances to either the attending I'm working under, um, and then since you're a residency like we are, if, if the referral came from, you know, Susie Smith, who's under Dr. Nash, and my standing order is with Dr. Nash, then when I put the prescriptions in, that's where that's whose staff I send it to. So those standing orders are with the uh, individual attending physician's name. Now, if it's a controlled substance, Lyrica, benzodiazepines, whatever, Ambien, then instead of leaving in review to the staff, you need to leave it in review directly to the physician because then uh, he or she has to put in their uh, token uh, code in order to have it sent uh, as a controlled substance through sure scripts. So once that's done, it leaves um, it, it leaves your box and you should be good to go. Uh, I will, I mean, if I click save here, it will go to Dr. Nash's nurse who will then have the ability to approve it as, um, as uh, the delegate. You know, it, it's been a source of contention uh, because, you know, we can, uh, technically uh, approve it on our end. The problem is, is that then it's your signature and your name at the bottom of the prescription. And based on the current Illinois Practice Act, we can't prescribe. We can only initiate, modify, or discontinue. I know it's all the same thing, but uh, sometimes I'll go in and get a little too happy clicky, and then it winds up getting sent under my name. And then I have to call the pharmacy and tell them, nope, it's actually Nash's name or Guthrie's or whoever's it is. So I hope this helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call though, okay? Hope you're having a good day, bye.